the yeah I basically like in my thesis I'm kind of at this point where I think that like I've just been burnt out for a very very long time and so have all of the people in my communities but I I don't really see a way out like away from being burnt out it seems like a lot of us are just trying to like cope with it and I was wondering like yeah I don't know I don't see anyone ever like not being burnt out at least not right now because none of us are able to stop which is what you were just saying like we always talk about being burnt out but people don't start doing the community care self-care thing so I guess like I don't know do you see a way of restructuring like our communities and spaces to not be burnt out or like in general like do you see a way out of burnout because I right now don't the only way out of burnout is literally through collective care um and sometimes there are folks that are able to access some amount of that and a lot of mm -hmm. times we're not um but that's it it's do we have access to collective care in some form if so that is the only and best way that we have to be able to climb out of burnout. Like, um, I and most people I know are in some stage of burnout in some form or another, but the only ways that we've been able to be supported in being less burned out have been through caring for each other, receiving mm -hmm. care as well as offering care. Yeah. So then do you feel like you've just been at like varying stages of burnt out for the past, I don't know, period of time um, and like becoming like less burnt out with care and then just like going through another period of being more burnt out or um, can you repeat that question? Sorry. Um, I was just going to say, have you seen yourself like more being in different stages of burnout so like being less burnt out when you've like received and like been a part of like collective care and then going through a period of being more burnt out or like yes definitely like there are periods where it was like I felt really isolated there weren't people in my life that were being supported and just so many things were happening at the same time that was just accelerating the experience of burnout mm -hmm. and other times where I'm doing pretty well um, like, I'm still affected, I'm still traumatized, I'm still anxious, um, etc. But I'm okay. And, you know, the more days that we have that we can be okay, the better off, you know, we're gonna be and the better off we probably are. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I feel like I feel like I'm just in this moment right now where I'm so tired all the time and everyone I know is so, we're also seniors, but we're right. all so tired and so like disillusioned and exhausted. And like, specifically like this institution has taken so much from us. And I guess, yeah, I don't know. Collective care feels like almost so out of reach because we're also collectively exhausted. You know what I mean? I mean, there's no one I know that is actually okay. And I keep telling people that, like no one I know is okay. Everyone is fucked up. Um, and that's kind of upsetting, right? Like I just gave a presentation to a combined kindergarten through fifth grade assembly. Um, and I asked during the assembly, like, has anyone here ever felt like you were treated unfairly or people mm -hmm. were being mean to you? And then I asked, were they classmates? Uh, raise your hand. Were they teachers, your family members, or, you know, authority figures, adults, grownups? And almost every single hand went up, right? And like, this wasn't surprising to me, right? Like, I started be experiencing horrible bullying, which is a form of abuse, as early as second grade that I can remember. It might have happened in kindergarten, who knows? Um, so it's not surprising. But it was really upsetting to see like hundreds of kindergarten through fifth grade babies all raising their hands to say that they all had felt like they were treated unfairly at some point, left out, isolated, bullied. People were mean to them. Sometimes it was the grownups. And like that was 
like really upsetting. And like, if that's like how our kids are growing up, like, yeah, no fucking shit. We're all burned out adults. Yeah. Yeah, so much of, I feel like so much of the burnout amongst the young people I know is like literally from like school trauma. Yep. That then like builds on top of everything else. I mean, it's not just school, but it's like the cumulative effect of violence, neglect, isolation in school, at home, at work, in our neighborhood, in activism, literally everywhere. 